Okay, so we have got a material area and a material volume uh, for cast in situ concrete being used in the basement floor area here. And um, what was good to a little check. So I've got uh, both of the, see the way when I highlight, so it's telling me everything that it's calculating now here is interesting because look, uh, not only is it calculating the basement here, but the same material uh, or the same family is being used up on the floors here as well. So um, if you want to be more specific about this, you would have to create a basement floor family and an above ground floor family or something like that. So just be wary of that as well. Um, and again, this when you're doing this, this is always best done before. Um, you uh, start to create your model. So, you know, think ahead, thinking ahead about this is really important too. Okay, so uh, what we need to do here now um, is um, we need to add in a couple of uh, extra fields here in order to calculate the cost. Okay, so I'm back into the uh, fields here and we're going to add in a material cost. Okay, and um, now that's fine. So uh, in order to do the calculation here, we have to do a formula here. And uh, so the formula is going to be uh, a calculated parameter. And this is what we're using here. So I'm clicking into this one. I'm going to call this total cost. Okay. And it is going to be common discipline. It's going to be a currency. And the formula I'm going to create now is going to be the material volume multiplied, which is the star, by the material cost. And then we need to divide that by one meter uh, to the power of, okay, so that shift uh, six, I think it is, gets you that power of three because it's a, it's a cubic meter. And we will go OK. And if I hit OK to that, um, now I've got my total cost coming in here. I'm going to go back in and just do a formatting on the total cost. I want to show a calculated total. And I want a field format of two zero decimal places and to a euro symbol here. OK. Now, so uh, what I'm saying is that the material cost is 78. Uh, euro per cubic meter okay and if I change that to um, let's say it's 85 it's gone up um, all of these will uh, update okay 85 because it's 85 based on this uh, here and uh, I get 95,000 uh, per cubic meter Okay, so remember that formula, that's the one that you need to remember. Um, and uh, you can apply that to any material that you need to calculate a cost on. Once you've got a unit cost, you can do it that way. And this is, a, I like this, this particular methodology of, uh, of calculating that cost, because at any point you can jump in here and change what that uh, unit cost is. So um, that's basically how we do it. Remember the formula and um, remember the process and you can apply that to any material uh, right throughout the whole of the model.